Now, I know what you're thinking. How the heck does a 52-year-old over-the-hill milkshake machine salesman build a fast food empire with 1,600 restaurants in 50 states, five foreign countries? One word, persistence. Ray puts his phenomenal success down to persistence, but there are five more essential business lessons we are going to learn from his story, immortalized on the silver screen by the founder. It may not be the most entertaining movie of all time, but it's pretty damn good and has the most powerful and insightful business lessons. Let's be clear, Ray is not the founder of McDonald's as he later claims, but he sees the extraordinary potential of the McDonald's product, brand and operational system when he stumbles across the original restaurant while selling milkshake machines and he takes it to a global audience, earning fame and fortune in the process. It's Dick and Mac, the real founders of the first McDonald's, who teach us the first lesson by finding the customer solution. In 50s America, drive-in restaurants are all the rage, but the service, food quality and atmosphere have severe limitations. Dick and Mac revolutionize the system by focus on what sells and that's exactly what we do. Hamburgers, french fries, soft drinks. What else don't we need? Turns out quite a lot. Car hops. Walk up to a window, get your food yourself. Dishes. All paper packaging, disposable. Cigarette machines, jukeboxes. Drive out the riffraff. And most importantly, the speedy system, which is essentially what we now know as lean production or Kaizen. Moving all waste from production and maximizing efficiency. Illustrated beautifully by the planning of the new restaurant with chalk designs on a tennis court. From here on in, it's all Ray Kroc. He takes Dick and Mac's ideas and rapidly scales them up through franchising. He has to get the right people to invest and run the first franchise restaurant, which brings us to lesson number three. Ray initially franchises to his friends from the country club with disastrous consequences. Look at all that ketchup. You got three pickles on there instead of two. And look at that. Look at that. Lettuce. But when he sees the entrepreneurial zeal and determination of a Jewish Bible salesman, he changes the profile of his team of franchisees. It's the drive and commitment of these new franchisees which fuels McDonald's rapid success. I'm looking for a few good men and women who aren't afraid of hard work, aren't afraid to roll up their sleeves. It's cliche, I know, but I'm looking for scrappers, hustlers, guys who are willing to roll up their sleeves. People with a little drive, they got a little fire in the belly. Got a little chutzpah. Moreover, Ray believes in internal recruitment and promotion to reward employees. Fred Turner, a trainee girl man, becomes his operations director, and his secretary, Jim Martino, rises to become part owner of the corporation. However, despite the early success and rapid expansion of his franchise model, Ray is still barely breaking even. A chance meeting with Harry Mr. Sonborn Brock. shows him how to convert his I position as head of franchising no, I, into controlling the company yes. and more importantly, making huge profits. You don't build an empire off a 1.4% cut of a 15 cent hamburger. You build it by owning the land upon which that burger is cooked. This will provide you with two things. One, a steady upfront revenue stream. Money flows in before the first steak is in the ground. Two, greater capital for expansion, which in turn fuels further land acquisition, which in turn fuels further expansion, and so on, and so on. Inevitably, Ray's position as the effective chief of McDonald's leads to conflict with the original founders, Dick and Mac. This is not your company, Ray. Mac. Do you understand that? Mac, don't get upset. We came up with the speedy system, not you. Us. What have you ever come up with? Uh, can you name one thing? You can't. And you never have, and you never will, because you are a leech, Ray. You are a professional leech. This is war. It's dog eat dog, rat eat rat. If my competitor were drowning, I'd walk over and I'd put a hose right in his mouth. They finally agree to sell all the rights of McDonald's to Ray, which brings us to our final lesson. Don't ever trust a handshake. With one exception. Your 1% cut of future corporate earnings will have to be carried out on a handshake basis. 
Look, fellas, you'll get your full royalties, all right? Got my word on that. Dick, Mac. Let's make a deal. Despite Ray's promises, Dick and Mac never receive a cent in royalties right. and miss out on hundreds of millions of dollars. What do you think? Have I missed out on any important lessons from the founder? Is there another movie with better business lessons? Leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with the latest business movies. Or visit caiebusiness.com for more business lessons. Thanks and see you next time.